So my name's Mel Kernigan. I'm a senior mental health practitioner for Liaison and Diversion in Devon Partnership Trust. I've been working with mental health for 16 years. After I did my first degree, um, I moved down to Somerset and went straight back into caring because I loved it. Eventually, um, I had the confidence to go for my nurse training which I did through um, Plymouth University, then went to work on the local psychiatric intensive care unit. About six months into my preceptorship, I became quite unwell. I started to develop symptoms of depression, and initially that was things like I had no motivation, I used to cry a lot, but I could never really say why I was crying a lot. Um, I had some difficulty sleeping, real kind of worrying thoughts going through my head. I didn't really know that something was wrong until a lot further down the line and eventually um, I was diagnosed with psychotic depression. I tried reaching out for help at that point. It was really difficult. It, I found it really, really hard to know who to turn to, when to turn to them. Um, and how honest to be with them once I, once I got there. It's really important to raise awareness because I never thought when I was sat um, in my nursing lectures, I never believed that I would end up being somebody who had a severe and enduring mental health problem. Stress is the, the number one reason that people go off sick from work. If we could just be okay with not being okay and have somebody that we can turn to in those times and say, actually, I'm not feeling right at the moment. A few years after my illness, I um, went to a journal called Mental Health Practice with an article about what it's like to be mentally unwell and a mental health nurse. I came to the university and said, OK, I think I have something that your students need to hear and need to learn about. So each year I teach generally the second year students um, about my case and what I went through in the hopes that they can sit back and identify within themselves some of the vulnerabilities that are out there. The feedback I've had has been phenomenal and students will come up to me afterwards and will spend their breaks stood around talking with me about what it's like to be mentally ill. Either they want to um, share their story with me or students who have come down to me afterwards with, with tears rolling down their faces saying, I didn't realise it, but you're talking about me. I'm not very well. And we've talked through how we can best access care for that individual. The way that mental health is progressing on a societal level and the way that we're talking about it more and making it less of a taboo subject means that now really is the right time to be having these conversations with each other and to be able to really open up. Don't be afraid of other people's reactions. Remember that as human beings we're designed to be social animals. We're designed to talk to each other and to discuss the things that we're finding difficult. And to the person who's listening to that, I would say just listen. Really feel humbled to be the person that is trusted to be heard this stuff and work together in order to find a way forward so that this person doesn't have to feel alone and scared anymore.